Holy shit, are we in for a treat here? Yes, you read it right. It's a Philips CDI video. Well, it's not a Philips CDI video. It's a video of Philips CDI game, Mutant Rampage, Body Slam, or Body Slam Mutant Rampage. Um, yeah, basically, it looks like a side-scrolling beat-em-up. Um, from the back of the case and it is in fact a side-scrolling beat-em-up because I just played about 10 seconds of this horrendous game so anyway here we are at the title screen um, so yeah I thought I would do a few I'll we'll go all out whoa seven lives um, yeah I thought I'd go all out with some retro some Philips CDI because looking back at the first well the last not the first the last few videos I've done um, shut the fuck up man um, we'll skip that just to shut him up um, yeah they've all been current kind of generation um, videos we've had a bit of Battlefield Hardline a um, bit of the Black Ops 3 beta that I was playing the other day This will say work. God, I'm getting the buttons mixed up there. It doesn't really help that on a Philips CDI control pad you have a dot, dot slash dot dot, dot, and well, you got a top dot and a bottom dot, and two dots, and that is um, basically the layout of the controller. Utter garbage, yes. Um, the Philips CDI even st literally stinks of piss. Uh, I just got it out from the corner where it's been hiding, collecting dust and mould. And yeah, it fucking stinks. So here we are. A side scrolling beat up, beat em up where you beat up old bold men with big noses. Okay. Music's kind of horrendous. And as you would expect, it's choppy as hell because the Philips CDI is barely what you could call a game system, to be honest. Um, it kind of does surpass jerky 16 bit graphics with um, kind of generally full motion video thrown in the middle. Yeah, it's a terrible system. Um, and yeah, I picked this game up um, in my birthday pickups, which would have been at the end of May. Um, and I picked up two other CDI games, which I'm also going to be doing videos on. Uh, the other two games are uh, something or Speedway. Let's um, actually in view. Uh, what's it called? Video Speedway and um, the Philips CDI version of Micro Machines. And I'm just kind of punch into thin air there as I drop game boxes on the floor. Who gives a shit it's a Philips CDI game box, the worst fucking system I own. Yeah, so um, to be honest, um, if you're stuck on a desert island, um, why do they call them desert? What? Hey? So I can change, okay, I can change um, characters by, ah, a tag pad, I see. So that's what a tag pad is. So you can change characters, some new, um, come on, some new life on the go. So if you're stuck on a desert island, as I said, I don't really know why I call it desert islands because we're in the middle of water, but, um, a a, an, a, a, an island with just like sand and trees on it. I think like Lost because I'm currently um, watching the whole of Lost because I'm really sad and I've never seen it before. Um, yeah, if you were in that situation and this was the only game that you could play, it is playable. Um, it's certainly not an impossible game, um, but it's certainly not a great side-scrolling beat-em-up either. The animation is pretty terrible. It seems like every character has like four different frames of animation. Um, 
But to be honest, that's all it needs because the Philips CDI um, seems to run at about four frames a second anyway. Um, but this is an interesting game. It would have been cool, you know, if, I don't know, back in the day when the CDI first came out and your parents just had a shitload of money and you were like, oh, there's this game on it as well. Like, I can actually play a game on this kind of new video player that my parents have bought type thing. You know, it'd be pretty cool in that sense, but um, this system is certainly no Sega Mega Drive, and this isn't, certainly isn't Streets of Rage, let's face it. We have some, uh, some faux, faux, faux scratching, faux as in fake, if you don't understand what I mean there. F-A-U-X, not F-O-A-E. Foe is getting beat, and F A U X is uh, shit. Okay. Okay. And um, yeah, it seems like the world is some well, it's, it's kind of like some futuristic world, kind of post apocalyptic, it would seem. Um, and that guy farts at me. So I don't know. Fuck off! Stop shitting on me, man. Dickhead. Oh, come on. Yeah, let's have some crud, bitch. Um. Ah, I have this kind of special attacky thing. Is that one of those annoying ones that? No. I think that drains energy, but it only drains energy when you make contact. Kind of weird. So there we go, and we are now loading. Um, yeah, it's kind of unfortunate that we don't really know what's going on in this game because I had to um, skip the cutscenes, the animated bits, because uh, the bad, the rather weird looking dude was kind of. Um, we're going to tag now. It was kind of annoying me when I was trying to think and play the game and speak at the same time and he was just chatting shit. We'll go for Rack Saxon! <clears throat> Alright, so then we drop in. Ooh, look at this dude. Oh man. Tits on that look. To be honest, this is... Uh, I'm, I'm trying to think in my head now if I've even played a game better than this on the Philips CDI. Is this what it's come to? This is the best game on the Philips CDI. But saying that, I did mention earlier that I also picked up uh, Micro Machines. So Even though Micro Machines, from what I've seen on YouTube, runs horrendously slow. Um, it's still going to be better than this, let's face it. Could run at a quarter of the speed and be better. Um, well, one thing I'm thinking with Micro Machines, if it runs slower, the game should be easier. Because um, it's a game that's all about track memorization, so you show get an advantage order for playing it on the Philips CDI. Flat playing it in floor motion! And we get some crud, because everybody likes to get a bit of crud down the neck. The sound effects aren't too bad, they're just what you'd expect from a 16-bit fighting game, really. It's a shame, really, that the Philips CDR seems incapable of putting out um, smooth 2D, well, I say smooth 2D, any smooth graphics at all because this game just seems like it would be a hell of a lot better um, if the controls were just tight and responsive. I mean, I say it's not unplayable, but the controls, the, 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 there's not a massive delay, but there is a slight delay. Um, which it just makes it feel like you're not kind of 100% in control. To be honest, the, the backgrounds, 
the actual stages aren't too bad and there's some interesting kind of um, art design going on. Hey, come on, you can't fucking take the fucking power-ups. Can we pick the knife up? Oh yeah, straight up Streets of Rage style. So I think that was the big selling feature that they were kind of the unique selling point of this game was this whole kind of tag pad idea. But to be honest, the, nobody cares about the characters, so why would I want to switch between them? To be honest, nice big jug of beer there. And that enemy is called Dopey. That's interesting. Apart from this game is on the Philips CDI and I'm playing it now, I know nothing about it. Just just what just what you're hearing and seeing in this video is Yeah, that's that's it. Okay, we're loading now and we're outside the bar now. Oh, come on, titty mit tit tits. This is what the future looks like. I'm gonna kill myself. For you, my fuck you in the ass, though, bitch. Good old Philips CDI never fails to disappoint. Oh come on, you just annoy me now. This is the the game needs a dash. The, I mean, you got that attack there. That uses this guy. It's kind of like a way of moving across the screen a bit quicker. But when characters have got projectile attacks, you need a fucking way of getting across the uh, screen a bit quicker, you know what I mean? There's something I can pick up there. Yeah. I don't know what that was supposed to be. Possibly a smelly trodden on piece of fish on the floor which kind of uh, reminds me of this guy's face to be honest that's probably how I'd describe his face oh yeah more beer why why would people put beer in the bin that makes no sense no logic in throwing away beer that is just silly silly game developers Dog. Probably more like silly five-year-olds that designed this game. They probably all had alcoholic dads that beat them every night and then rape them or some shit. Ah. Ah. Come on, Ooh, castle. They're fairies in the castle. It kind of, uh, it kind of looks like Disneyland this level. Anyway. Idiots. This guy's cheap as fuck as well. Are these supposed to be like bosses? I don't know, I've not worked that out. At least in Streets of Rage you kind of have the different music. Well in most games in general, you at least get some sort of audible indication that you're now fighting a boss, you know what I'm saying? But um yeah, this game sucks poop. Yeah, he does have more than one life bar. Come on, get him. Yeah. Slow-mo. That ass hits the ground. Job done. Let's watch this. It's like... Nothing moves in the background so they could like properly hype up the fucking um Oh we're on to another level. Oh select level one what? 
I don't know why it's like level ones in three parts. Um, ah, so we can only use each character seven times. Only. That gives a grand total of like 21 lives. Oh, shut up. Proper cringeworthy early to mid 90s uh, kind of like He Man rip off type, type stuff that. Uh, pardon me. And now we're in Rome. It's kind of a bit of a dull looking Rome. And uh, we'd be whooping some whoop ass. Oh, this guy's fucking. some badass attacks. Yeah, man, I just had a bowl of rides for breakfast. Why does everybody look French if they're supposed to be in Rome? They're saying that, um, Infogram, is that right? They bought the rights to the Philips CDI. Doesn't say really on the back. Who Produced by Animation Magic. Magic. Kind of a, an interesting... Uh, Name for a company that produces animated graphics that look this fucking shit. Oh, come on. Yeah, that guy definitely does not look Italian. He looks French. And I guess mythical stuff, maybe. I don't know. I don't, where, where does unicorn titty woman fit into this? Like some kind of Greek horse goddess. No, no, no. This isn't Greece. It's Italy. It's make no make no sense. Makes no sense. This game's fucking bullshit. And you fucking know it, you cunts. Beer. No, it's a sandwich this time. Yeah, let's get some suds. Also, fucking crate of suds. Sounds like a fucking washing up liquid. I'm gonna drink me a bottle of shampoo, and then I'm gonna kick your ass, sucker. Hey, come on. Yeah. Spinning fucking backfish your ass. Hey, no, that's not fair. Well, I think I'm going to have to conclude that this game is complete shit. Um, however, this is kind of on a level. Like, it gets tied with being the best game I've played on the Philips CDI so far with Lemmings. And I don't like Lemmings. I'm just kind of saying Lemmings because uh, the version of Lemmings is just like playing Lemmings on any other console so if you like Lemmings you'll like Lemmings on the Philips CDI but um, yeah I would prefer to play this to Lemmings but that doesn't mean it's a better game than Lemmings but it does mean that once again Philips CDI proves to the world that it is a steaming pile of shit and uh, my Philips CDI, as I said earlier, actually smells of piss and it has mould on it and dust that it's been kind of gathering in the corner of this room in the floor, so uh, on the floor, not in the floor wish it, wish it was in the floor, then I couldn't see it so that is Mutant Rampage Body Slam for the Philips CDI if you're a Sado Masochist, aka Philips CDI collector. You'll want this one. Is it a system seller? Uh, nothing could sell this system. So uh, until the next video for the Philips CDI. Oh, go, mate.